Welcome back down to Snakers. We're here in the baby barn again because today we're going to talk about turning your eggs during incubation. This is an incredibly important thing that you have to do. You have to. Okay, I know there's a little bit of debate in some circles, but you really do. Okay, so I'm just going to take these tops off just so you can see turners because that's the focus of today's video. Okay, so we have egg turners and this is also an egg turner. Okay, so if you let your eggs just sit and incubate, the embryos will end up sticking to the inside of the shell and you'll often end up with deformed chicks, if you get any chicks at all. A lot of times not turning results in a completely failed hatch. Okay, just like a hen will slightly rotate and shift the eggs she's sitting on, you have to turn the eggs. Now, she doesn't like turn them, turn them constantly, but what she does is she does move them around. You can even watch a hen do this. She doesn't take an egg, lift it up, and turn it completely over. No, that's true, she does not do that. But what she does do is she just shifts them a little bit. Okay, now we're not a hen, we're using incubators. So because we are not doing it the natural way, we have to be kind of precise in how we do it in order to make sure we get at least similar results to a hen. Okay, she might be the expert, we're just trying to imitate her. So, you don't have to turn your eggs that much. Okay, a quarter turn, three to five times a day does it. So you do not have to completely turn them over. A little bit of a turn will do it. So a lot of these incubators, so for example this one, you lay the eggs on their side. Now this is a quail egg tray. Okay, I have trays for other size eggs. This is quail egg size, this is normal chicken size. But in this one, you lay them on their sides and then it will rock them back and you can decide how far it rocks them. So it might just go do 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 and then the next time it'll go do 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 just back and forth. You don't have to move them a lot. Okay, you have to turn them a little, but not a lot. You can completely flip them over if you want, especially if you're hand turning, but that kind of movement is not necessary. You just need a little bit of movement, okay, a little bit of shifting a few times a day. So if your egg turner, if your uh, incubator already has egg turners, so this obviously has these egg racks, this style up here, and this style has this tray that you put the eggs in and they just rock back and forth, okay? So if your egg, your incubator already has an egg turner, you won't have to do it manually. That's nice. I highly recommend getting an incubator with an egg turner already in it. So set the turner and you're good to go, okay? You set the turner, make sure your intervals are correct, Make sure your turn angle, if your incubator has a turn angle, is correct. Now this, this style has a turn angle setting, so I can set it to go pretty far, or I can set it to go just a little bit. I usually set it to go just a little bit. It doesn't have to go that far. So turners do the work for you, slowly turning the eggs throughout the day. Some incubators allow you to set the turning intervals, like I just mentioned, and even control how far the eggs are turned. So both of these machines let me set how long between turnings. I do about, I guess three hours is what I have them all currently set to. So I have them set to turn every three hours. I could set them to turn every half hour, but I don't need to. So I set them to rock or to spin every three hours. And I can set the turn interval um, on this one. So the turn angle to determine how far it'll go. Most turners turn at a specific speed. Some turners rock constantly, and they rock so slowly that if you're just staring at them, you won't see it. So this one will, every three hours or so, go doot, 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 doot. Three hours later, doot, 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 doot. But some turners slowly rock back and forth constantly, but they do it so slowly you don't really see it unless you're looking for it or unless you come back later. So you want to consult your incubator manual for details on how your turner works and what you should look for and what you should do. What if you don't have a turner? Okay, let's assume you don't have a turner. Okay, without a turner, you're going to have to be the turner. You're going to have to turn the eggs yourself. 
So what I would do is you'd have an egg and you write an X on one side and an O on the other. And three or five times a day, uh, you would turn them over. So the X and the O are to indicate which side is which. So you understand which egg has been turned. Use a pencil or a crayon or a food safe marker. Okay, don't use um, like a Sharpie because that can actually leach through the eggshell and into the egg. I've had that happen. That's why I stopped using Sharpies. So food safe markers are often called food coloring pens. They work really, really well. Okay, but unless you decorate cakes and cookies a lot, you probably don't have one. You don't need to buy one. You could just use a pencil. But if you want like a marker, like an actual marker, you can just get a food coloring pen and use that. It's perfectly safe. I use them all the time. I actually already had them because I do a lot of baking. But if you don't have one, you can get one. You can get one on Amazon. I will link to some food safe markers that I'm talking about in the description because sometimes there's some confusion over what a food safe marker is. So I will provide a link. But you don't have to do that. You can just use a pencil. <laughs> I'm sure you have a pencil in your junk drawer. Okay, so eggs that are placed on their sides to incubate so ones that you lay down or ones that are in a tray like this should be turned three to five times a day and they should be turned about a quarter turn. Okay, so about a quarter of the way. So they don't have to flip entirely all the way over. They just have to go book. So just a little turn. Okay, so a quarter turn about five times a day or a half turn three times a day. So if you're, you're going to turn them completely over, do that three times a day. Eggs that are incubating pointy side down, which is what this egg tray is designed to do. So pointy side down, fat side up. So eggs that are incubated pointy side down should have their angle changed from one side to the other. Turning more is better. Okay, so if you have eggs that are incubating pointy side down and you weren't using a turner, you would have to rotate. Okay, you would have to like manually prop up one side of your tray prop up the other side of a tray. Just use a book or something. It's not hard. <laughs> it's just, you can, if you don't have a turner, you can manage. It's a little more annoying, but if you don't have a turner, you can do it. So, um, if you're not home a lot, because, you know, let's face it, some of us actually have to go to work away from home. So, a lot of us still work from home, but if you have to go to work, you might only be able to turn three times a day. Three times a day is plenty. It's fine. And you don't have to turn during the th first three days, okay? It's fine. You don't have to turn during the first three days. And um, if you're incubating shipped eggs, you shouldn't turn during the first three days. So you don't worry about the first three days. After that, you do need to turn, okay? So if you're doing shipped eggs, air, ch air sacs need a chance to settle. And you do, you do that just by leaving them in a tray with pointy end down, fat end up, and you just leave them incubating for three days. After those three days, you can turn on your egg turners or start turning manually. Um, when do you stop turning eggs? So you, turn, you can turn your eggs all the way through day one, all the way through day 18 or 19, or you cannot turn those first three days and turn for day three all the way to 18 or 19. Remember, this only applies to chicken eggs. So they're going to hatch around day 21. So you turn for that interval, but once you hit lockdown, which I will talk about next week, okay, in next week's video. So don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more hatching videos. We are going to be talking about lockdown next week and the week after we will talk about actually chicks hatching. And that's always the fun one. So lockdown um, means you're not opening the incubator, so you won't be able to turn them. So day 18 or 19, once eggs go into lockdown, we're not turning anyway because we end up removing the egg trays completely and laying the eggs down on their sides so that they have a chance to hatch properly. There we go. Put that back in. So if you're turning manually, you'll just stop turning. If your incubator has a turner, you will take the turner out. Okay? So if I'm hatching in this one, I remove this turner, put in a hatching mat, and continue on for lockdown. I'm not going to talk about lockdown today. I am going to take a moment to talk about the no turn method. Some people claim that they don't turn their eggs at all and they still get great hatch rates. Those people are few and far between. Okay. There are not very many people who have that happen. Okay. So yes, 
There are going to be some people who don't turn at all because turning is kind of annoying. And yes, you can get more eggs in your incubator if you don't turn. Because you just kind of smush them in there. Without breaking the shells. Don't break the shells. So, yes, you can get more eggs in there. And some people don't turn at all. The number of people who have success doing that is pretty low. Because turning is necessary. You do have to turn in order to get a better hatch rate. Now, I tried, I will admit, I thought, hey, I'll try this out. Anything to save me the annoyance of having to turn and give me more space in my incubators. I did it once and my hatch rates plummeted. Okay, I had, I literally had chicks stuck to the inside of the shell. Literally, I'm not going to show you a picture because it was horrible. But there was one that his head, he only had half a head because the rest of his head was literally suckered right onto the side of the eggshell on the inside. It was horrible. And yes, I always open up eggs that don't hatch to find out why they didn't hatch so I can kind of adjust what I'm doing. And the reason those eggs didn't hatch, I got a couple. I got out of 12, I think I got three, which is a bad hatch rate for me. Um, I get pretty good hatch rates normally. So I got like three, I think, hatched and the rest didn't. And they were various deformities. And they were my own eggs, they, so I know that they don't normally do that. So... The no turn method works for some people and if it's working for you, I'm really glad because it saves you the hassle of having to turn. For the vast majority of people, it will not work. Okay, because having it work is kind of a fluke. Even if you have it work every time, that's still a bit of a fluke because most of us, for the most part, um, we're not going to get success not turning. Okay, so it is kind of important that we make sure that we turn. So you can try the no turn method if you like. Just be aware that there's a pretty good chance that you're gonna have a pretty big failure. If you have success with it, great, I'm happy for you. Keep doing it if it's working for you. But I don't recommend people try it, especially if you're trying it with expensive eggs or shipped eggs or anything like that. You wanna treat those eggs like gold, um, and do everything as right as you can. Now, is turning a guarantee? Of course not. There are no guarantees. These are living creatures and sometimes they just don't make it. But to maximize your chance of success, you absolutely should turn your eggs. So either with a turning tray like this where they lay on their sides or something like this where they're in racks and they are fat bottom up. Remember, always pointy end down, fat end up. That's just the way it goes. So. That is basically what we're looking at right now, is we want to turn our eggs. So again, if you use the no turn method, I'm happy for you. I'm glad it's working out. But probably if you're watching my channel, you're looking for tips on incubating, and I'm going to tell you, turn your eggs. Okay, turning your eggs will give you a better hatch rate than not turning your eggs, almost without exception. With that said, um, that is about it. For turning eggs, it's not difficult. You can do it manually, you can use egg turners. It's entirely up to you. I do recommend you get an incubator that has an egg tray that rotates for you so you don't have to do it. So thanks a lot for tuning in here at Anderson Acres. Remember to subscribe if you want to tune in next week where we lock down our chicken eggs that we have been incubating for the last couple of weeks. And until then, we'll see you tomorrow.